Hi guys, it's me Ligar Lax and I'm here to talk about my computer tower. My computer tower is a budget computer and I rearranged my computer because I didn't want to do the three monitor desktop anymore because it was so demanding on electricity and the electricity bill is very very expensive especially in the summer when you have the AC on with those computers running yeah because uh, heat does kills your computer all right now uh, what I did with that computer I gave it to my brother my adopted brother then you better take care of that computer I miss it but anyways here I'm going to talk about my computer now I bought this uh, setup right here uh, for only $353.99 plus shipping and handling and tax I paid exactly two I mean uh, $386 flat yes yeah what the specs is um I'm gonna explain about the specs because check it out I have the link posted on my description so you guys can get yourself this amazing value for a good price all right in newegg.com I decided to buy my stuff again buy parts I didn't want I mean the same specs but a little more lesser an A8 processor an A8 not an A10 the A8 in Best Buy they were selling an Asus one for about $499 I was like whoa plus tax and everything and me I paid almost before even past tax I only paid 386 with tax and shipping yes and yes, this is this is it right here. You know, every picture is exactly what you see, what they des describe in this uh, what do you call it website of newegg.com. And here it is. Yes, uh, I already made previous videos about my gameplay, showing the benchmark of my computer. But I'm gonna talk about what's inside because the only drawback is you when you order this stuff in the internet uh, with this uh, combo package, uh, everything is sold to you in parts, so you have to put it together. So. If you do have a little bit of technician experience, it's easy for you. But if you have no experience in technician stuff, don't get overwhelmed on putting a computer together. So this is the inside guts of how the computer looks like. I like how the RAM is with their with the heat sink wrapped around it. And um, my graphics card, my XFX. Uh, I still haven't really routed all the, the, the wiring. Um, the power supply, I don't really agree of having a power supply in the ground, but that's the newest design of those ATX towers. My terabyte hard drive, my Blu-ray burner, it's all set up. I'm going to be routing the wires and, and I'm, I'm going to make a second video. Since there's no adapter for me to uh, make this fan work, I had to do some Mickey Mouse work into it. I had to put positive and negative on a regular power supply and then electrical tape its way in. The LED is beautifully lit. And what's inside and what's in this uh, guts of my computer, from that $386 I spent, it came with the A10 processor series, which is a, um, a GPU built in your processor. This is a quad core 58K A10 processor with a built in GPU. The GPU that was built in here, I believe it was like a 7600 uh, series. I mean, I don't know. Um, does it say it in there? No. Uh... All I know is that it's a uh, very, very, very strong processing um, for games right out of the box. Meaning you don't even need a graphics card. The graphics card's already in here. And of course, looking at the screenshots on this box, it has Hitman, Battlefield. Right out of the box, you can actually play these games in 1080p, in medium settings. And certain games, you can have it in high settings. And the game is still playable. I was playing Sleeping Dogs in high setting, 1080p. This processor is, is the bomb. Now... AMD came out with their new FX 6 core, even the 8 core processor. Whoa. And the cool part about it is the crossfire feature. As I was talking about the processor of this uh, AMD uh, A10, the crossfire feature, which I have this R7250X, meaning the, the GPU that's built in here on this processor is crossfiring, meaning it's running both in the same time. That's why I'm getting great uh, fluent um, frame rates on my gaming. And the tower uh, is also included uh, two optical drives as the multi DVD burner. Basically, it burns DVD Rs and RAM. And in the bottom, you do have a Blu ray um, reader. You know, it just reads only Blu rays, but it doesn't, it doesn't really uh, burn Blu rays. <laughs> Every terms, this tower is very, very cheap. I wanted something more economical, I didn't want to spend too much money. The power supply, it's, oh, it, what came with was uh, it's in this box. It's a capstone with the 80 uh, uh, plus gold, okay? It's a 450 watts because I don't want to use too much power. I, I want less consumption on electricity because I can't afford the bill no more. Then, 
the motherboard that came in the box and the new egg um, yeah this is the motherboard and it's already in installed and um, also the monitor remember I paid 386 for this guy all right $21 for this uh, gamepad all right I want it to match the red uh, LEDs with this LED so it looks cool and I needed a new monitor so I'm using a television the television I'm using is a company called Insignia and it's available in Best Buy for only less than $159 plus tax so it's like 180 with tax and the recycle fee so this is a, a, a very very budget computer I spend I believe about the max of $717 on a brand new tower and monitor yes I already have the speakers uh, I have the Logitech um, uh, 5.1 surround sound. I already have a keyboard and mouse, so that's all you need for upgrade. You know, for for decent casual style gaming, and yet hardcore hardcore gaming, because I'm playing Advanced Warfare, which that game is all right. Uh, Battlefield 4 online gaming is great. I already have a lot of games installed. Emulation wise, I know a lot of people like emulation. I'm playing PSP in 1080p. Yes, that's the emulator. I, uh, they, it, it also runs great on other games like Ultra Street Fighter 4. Metal Gear Solid, Batman Arkham City, <laughs> yes, and um, when I got the box, it came like this, yeah, I still have the box, yes, the boxes, okay, the tower came in in this box, just the tower, then this box came in with all the guts inside, and all I have right now is just the left over here, the package of the RAM, all that, and this is where they keep all that stuff, man, this is the box that came in. You know, I wish I did a video when I when I had unboxed everything and put it together, but I didn't. And the television was brand new. Uh, it's a 32 inch LED. Yes, for only 150 something bucks. And then now I have my decent uh, gaming. You know, yeah. Because um, the reason why I say decent because some games are not because this television's uh, only an HD. It's not a true HD. It goes up to 720p and it does resolution of 1080p too as well 1080i and it has a 60 uh um 60 uh, refresh rate that's it for um for a budget system that's not bad huh i'm complete comparing it to the alienware the alienware is almost like 500 something you know and why do i need a ps3 or 4 or xbox one when the pc is as good as having those consoles and you can do more and for a per uh for a personal setup yes this is this is my uh, setup and that's the processor, graphics card, and plus of course when I bought this graphics card at Best Buy, it gave, it gave me a silver uh, rewards uh, coupon, so I got two free games. Uh, the two free games I got was uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Alien Isolation, and it's quite quiet. Very, very, And then the fan that came with it and with the heatsink, it's, de it's, it's stock looking, but from what I feel inside it's very cold so heat does kill and then all I have to do is just close this this boy up and I like the presentation you know it has a USB 3.0 in the front or 2.0 uh, the motherboard is great it's cross firing with um, my processor and graphics card and it comes with decent badges showing that it's an A series so I thank you guys for watching I'm um, just explaining about what's inside of this computer what is really um, <clears throat> cool is that I didn't have to spend a lot of money I mean, I'm playing games in 1080p or some games in 720p, but you, you, it's, it's, it's not really noticeable by going really, really, you know, hey man, I see a little dot there and stuff, but this is a very, very budget computer. So thank you guys for watching and, uh, and click on the link below and if you like what you see and if you decide to order it yourself, uh, check out the newegg.com. Everything there is cheap. If you live in the city of industry in California, near Los Angeles, you can actually do pickup. Yeah, after you order. But I recommend to ship it because you know how much shipping costs when you buy a tower? One dollar. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching.